Welcome to Yaden Community News, your independent source for Yaden Community News. Suddenly a flash summer storm whips through with hurricane force winds, heavy downpours, and damaging hail. Leaving a trail of destruction like this throughout Delaware, Chester, and Philadelphia counties. Fortunately, no serious human injuries occur, but that's not the case for our friends in the animal world. This is one of their stories. I was alerted to a pair of baby robins that had fallen from this tree during the storm. You can see them in this footage taken during the storm. Unfortunately, one did not survive. I gathered the other one up with some gloves into a cloth to try and dry him off. We found the original nest and placed him in the nest on these logs you see here with the cloth underneath to try and keep him warm. This video is from the next day. I came over to check to make sure he was still okay. I was concerned as to whether or not mom and dad were feeding him and when I shot this I thought for a second maybe he thought I was his mom or dad wanting because it looked like he was ready to be fed. Now mom and dad originally when we moved him and found him they were perched on the tree up top and you could see that they were watching what was going on with great interest and even had one of them had some food in its beak and you can see mama bird here here more clearly. I was relieved to see that she was still monitoring the situation, but now I really wanted to know was she feeding them. So I thought I would video and see if I could catch her doing it so that I would know because I didn't think she was going to feed him while I was standing right there. But the footage that I caught just blew me away. Here a bird comes down, this is a magpie, comes down, the chick is only at this point maybe seven eight feet away getting closer now and then all of a sudden here comes mom just chased him right away now it comes back the magpie's back this is another little while later and then in a moment mom's going to come down from the tree above where she's been up there monitoring i knew that she was up there now watch what happens For the second time, mom swoops in and shoos the bird away, as if to say, you're too close to my child, get away. So here we're going to see mom coming out from the lawn on the other side of the door there. That's where she seems to be hanging out. But if you see, she's right there at the top of your screen. Closer view. Now we begin a period of her checking me out. I think at this point she wants to see if I'm a threat because she moves and stops and moves and stops and the whole time she's really looking right at me. So I decided that, you know, I should kind of be as nonchalant as possible and I tried that and let her make her moves on her own terms. She moves a little closer and a little closer. All I want to know is that is she feeding them? I know that she knows she's there because of the way they paid attention and the way she's defended the territory. I'm fairly certain now at this point she's just trying to ascertain as whether or not I'm a threat. Now she's testing the waters. She's behind the tree right now. She hasn't gone to the baby, but she's right behind the tree. We can't see her. But I feel here she was just, again, testing the waters. Let me see. 
see she's just popped back out. Ah, she's back. Let's see what she's going to do now. She's looking at me. I'm sitting down, trying to be as non-threatening as possible, holding the camera to the side, not even looking that direction, for the most part. Very deliberate here. Seems to be gathering food. Is it for her or for her chick? Again, very, very deliberate. Very careful. She ran to the other side there. Sorry for the shaking in the camera, but there she is. She's still there. And now she pops back over. If you see, she just went behind the tree. I was trying to reposition to not be threatening. And then it happened. I was so relieved to see that mom was feeding and taking care of the youngster. I knew that he would have a fighting chance. Immediately after feeding the chick, the bird flew to this branch and stared at me as if it was trying to communicate something to me. Now when I took the footage originally, I wasn't able to verify that I had caught her feeding the chick, so I hung out a little bit more to see if I could catch it again and be sure. And within a few moments I was able to capture this. I was grateful to be able to verify that the parents were in fact taking care of the child. And then, just as before, she flew right back to that same branch and stared at me some more as if, again, she wanted to communicate something to me. It's Saturday now, two days later, and Mother is still in the yard defending, feeding, and caring for its child. Over on that side of the property is a green area between the two yards and houses that the parents seem to have adopted as their area to watch and be able to be in to maintain their youngster. Finally, we're able to document both parents at the same time. You'll see parent number one is down on the ground just in front of that bush right there just after the sidewalk and right now Parent number two just appeared on the top of the white fence. You'll see him there. Two days after falling out of the tree, the chick looks pretty healthy and a bit feisty.
Yaden Community News, your independent source for news and information.